everyone. It's so amazing to be here. Now, before I begin, I want to ask you all to close your eyes. Everyone, please. Now, what I want you to do is to just listen to my voice. I want you to concentrate on the words that I'm about to say and think about how they make you feel. Okay? Awesome. Here goes. Poverty. Financial depression. Refugee crisis. Global warming. Okay, now everyone, please open your eyes. You did great, thank you so much. Let me ask you, how did my words make you feel? Odds are you didn't feel any positive emotions, right? Maybe you felt bored, discouraged, maybe even scared or depressed, yeah? Why, why is that? Why is it that when we hear these words, our minds are filling with this negativity? Well, the thing is that our society has implanted this intensely negative resonance into them. Our politicians, our media, they're constantly generating negative content about them, up until the point that every time we hear them, we think of problems that we can't solve. I think it's pretty safe to say that this negative attitude towards society's biggest issues is not healthy. Why? Because our performance in a challenge is directly related on how we approach it, our attitude. If we have a bad attitude, a wrong attitude, we will most likely have a bad performance as well. If you don't believe me, let me ask you, how often do you ever succeed or simply perform well in a challenge that you were absolutely certain that you would fail in? Never, right? That rarely ever happens. So how are we supposed to solve society's biggest issues with such a negative attitude? We can't. What if we changed the way we felt about them to a more, more positive approach? Would that lead to a solution? Let me tell you a story. A few months ago, I took part in this huge global development summit in New York. It was called Nexus. There we had all these extremely influential people speaking to us, like Randy Zuckerberg, the co-developer of Facebook. It was so incredible. At the end of the summit, we were all so inspired and excited to just get out there and fix the problems that our society is facing. But then, then there's a little 12-year-old girl walking to stage in front of us. And the first thing that the whole crowd, everyone, is thinking about is what on earth does this 12-year-old girl have to tell us about? Because hell, when I was 12 years old, I was trying out how many Oreos I could stuff into my mouth, because you know, that, that was kind of my thing. <laughs> what could she tell us about? She started telling about her life story, about when she was four, she found out that humans were endangering many different species. And she wanted to prevent this from happening. So what she did was that she used her grandmother's recipe to make lemonade out of honey. And she started selling this lemonade to the local neighbors, donating a large amount of her profits to a charity that would help these endangered species. She was four. She was four years old and she knew she could make a difference. So what started off as a local lemonade stand selling in the local park had developed into a huge lemonade brand selling in a variety of stores in over 22 states in America. Now she's 12 years old and her business is worth millions and millions of dollars. And yes, her actions have made a change, change to the endangered species. In the end of her speech, she told us that the key to her success was the fact that she was four years old when she started. She was a child. Because think about it, a child sets a goal, and the child focuses on a solution. It ignores all the obstacles and problems that might come its way, because in the end, they're quite irrelevant. She was four. She had no skills of being an entrepreneur. She didn't know where to start off, but her beautiful way of approaching the thought of starting her own business led to her amazing success. What can we learn from little Michaela, as she was called? Well, the thing that I learned is one of the reasons why I'm standing here speaking to you. I learned that our attitude towards a challenge defines 
our performance. With the wrong attitude, a challenge is a hundred times harder to solve. But with the right one, we can solve anything. Yes, even global warming. So what I want us all to do is that the next time we hear the words that I said in the beginning, poverty, financial depression, refugee crisis, rather than thinking about an unsolvable and depressing problem like we all did in the beginning, let's try to think about an opportunity to achieve something truly great. Let's change our attitude. Thank you.